Um, why is a function that we call an exponential function a new function? Because we've seen some functions that have had exponents in them, right? Well, the difference between functions with exponents and, and what we pro properly call exponential functions <coughs> largely has to do with in the exponent we're going to have variables. Our x or whatever the variable is is going to appear in the exponent instead of as the base. Okay? So, quick examples. Um, not, not abbreviated. And if I have y equals 2 to the x, that's an exponential function. The base of that equation, or the base of that expression is 2. The exponent is x. Um, on the other hand, if I do y equals x squared, it's a function, it has exponents, but the exponent is just a constant 2. Right? My variable shows up as the base and not as the exponent. Okay? Now, um, the exponent does not have to be just a plain exponent. I could also do something like y equals one third to the x minus three. Okay. Generally speaking, as long as there is a, an exponent, sorry, a variable in the exponent, you're okay. All right. Now, this is going to be tricky. That's not exactly an exponential equation. And does anyone have a guess as to why? I have a variable in the exponent, right? Because the same, that variable is in the base? Yeah, that's, that's going to be the gist of it, OK? Um, one last example. No, you know what? Let's not do that. We're not going to talk about that. Okay. The one thing that we're going to have a problem with is if our, our our base is not a positive number, then that's an issue. But you know what? Somebody could argue that that still is, in a sense, an exponential equation. It just has a restricted domain. So let's just leave that alone, shall we? Okay. All right. So if there's a variable in the base at all anywhere in the base, it's not. Yeah, I mean, 